Welcome to Xara Template Tutorial Lesson 129 for the Xara Web Designer 9 Premium Software. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to embed the Equit Shopping Cart into your Xara website. And the reason that I'm making this video tutorial is because I had a YouTube tutorial request on how to do so. Also, be sure to check out our DVD series Volume 1 for the first 100 video tutorials as shown on YouTube. And you can purchase that DVD by clicking on the icon in this video that looks like a DVD, or you can click on the show more description. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is go to your web browser and go to equid.com. So that's ecwid.com. And when you get to equid.com, you're going to have to either sign up for an account or you're going to log in with the details that you already have. So we're on equid.com now. In the upper right hand corner, you'll see that it says sign up and log in. In this case, I'm going to click log in because I already have an account. If you don't have an account, you're going to want to sign up for an account. So let me go ahead and click log in. And now I'm going to enter in my login information. So once you're logged into the Equit system, it's going to take you to the dashboard by default. Okay. And I'm going to close this out because we don't need to look at this right now. Okay. So once you sign up for your account, you're going to go to the dashboard by default. And once you're in the dashboard, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to copy the part that says product browser widget code. So you're going to copy all this code that's in this box for product browser widget code. So let's go ahead and click inside this box, hit control A, and that's going to select all of that text and then hit control C and it's going to copy it. So after you copy that code, let's go ahead and go back to Xara web designer. And I'm going to open up a blank new document and I'm going to resize it as well so that I can fit all of my information in there. So we got a decent page size now. So I'm going to go ahead and hit control V and that's going to paste that Equit shopping cart into my website. And you'll see that it shows some fruit and vegetables. And I'm going to again, resize the width of this a little bit more just to make sure that everything is included. Okay. So now let's go ahead and hit F5 and that's going to allow us to preview this shopping cart. And if we click on fruit, you'll see that it takes us to the category for fruit. We have strawberries, cherries, and an apple. But you'll notice that part of the boxes, when we highlight over these objects, are cut off. So that means we need to resize the height of this widget. So let's go ahead and go back to our workspace. And I'm going to put my cursor over this middle arrow, I'm sorry, over this node, middle node or resize handle, and I'm going to drag downward. And you'll see that it increases the height. So let's go ahead and hit F5 again and see what it looks like. So this time, let's go ahead and click on vegetables. And you'll see that now if I place my cursor over any of these items, you see the full mouse over state or the rectangle box that's around each of these items. So let's go ahead and go back to store. And this time let's click on fruit. And you'll see that now you can see the additional fruit that was on that page. And you can also see the full mouse over for each of these images. Okay. So looks like we have everything set up for that. Let's go ahead and close this out. And let's go ahead and go back to our web browser. And let's take a look at some of the other options that we have in our dashboard. So if we scroll down and by the way, you'll see that it says in blue text, copy Equit widgets code into your web pages to add e-commerce to your site. So if you're ever lost when you're in the dashboard, just look for that, this blue text here and you'll know that you're in the right location because we want to copy the e-commerce widget into our website. So if you scroll down, 
you'll see that there's an option for back widget code. But we're not going to actually copy that in because I've kind of ran into some problems when I tested it out. And when you copy the first code here, code one, it's going to automatically allow you to have the back widget code when you add an item to your shopping cart. So I wouldn't worry too much about number two. Number three is going to allow you to add some extra tabs that people can click on. So let's go ahead and copy that and see what it looks like. Click inside the box, hit Control A, Control C, and go ahead and go back to XAR and hit Control V. And you'll see that it shows the tabs here, fruits and vegetables. And I'm going to scroll up and I'm going to place this in the upper left hand corner of my uh, workspace. And I'm going to resize the width a little bit here. And once you have something like that, let's go ahead and hit F5. And you'll see that we have these categories at the top. If I click on vegetables, it'll have a tab for vegetables and you'll see all the vegetables that we have available. If you click on fruit, it's going to show all the fruit that are available. Okay, so you don't have to have this. This is optional as it said in the dashboard, but if you want to have that, you can add that into your shopping cart. So let's go ahead and go back to our dashboard here. And if we scroll down, you'll see that you have another option here or categories menu widget optional. And this is the same thing as, as uh, part three here for category tab widgets code. It's just that one is vertical and one is horizontal. This one down here is vertical instead of horizontal. Okay, so if we scroll all the way down in part four, you have a search box widget. And if we click inside here, hit Control A, Control C to copy and go back to our workspace and hit Control V. You'll see that now we have a search box. So let's go ahead and hit F5 to see what this looks like. And you'll see that we have a search box here, but part of the search box is cut off, so we need to resize it. So I'm going to place my cursor over a corner resize handle and I'm going to drag it out some to make it bigger. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit F5 again and see what that looks like. And you'll see that now we can see the full search box. And if I type in Apple, you'll see that the first item that shows up is an apple. And you also notice if there's the word apple in the description, like right here, it'll show other uh, types of fruit as well because it has the word apple within the description. But if I were to type in pear and hit enter, it only shows pear because pear is the only thing that has pear within the description and also in the title. Okay, so that's pretty much how you embed the Equit shopping cart system into your website. And I'm not going to go into all the details of how to use the Equit system in this video series, but if you are interested in learning how to use the Equit system, just let me know and I'll make a separate playlist that will go strictly over how to use the Equit system. The reason I won't make it in this video series on how to use the Equit system is because I don't want to put videos in my playlist that aren't necessarily directly related to using XAR. So if you are interested in learning how to use Equit more in depth, let me know and I'll make a separate video series for that. But thanks for watching this video tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know. Don't forget to embed, comment, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for future tutorials. Have a great day.